serving mozzarella yes. in Hollywood at Michelin Star Restaurant. And I got here, best of best, yeah! Um, so my name's Jen Liv. Takes a lot of work to look like Kimmy Schmidt, especially <laughs> driving 60 miles an hour, running stoplights. I got this dress out of my trunk and changed it to stoplight, okay? Um, so, uh, any New Yorkers in here? Anybody from New York? East Coast in the house. Uh, I lived in New York for quite a while after Albuquerque, okay? And, uh, you know, New York was lonely at first. I didn't know anybody, but I did start recognizing, like, this one guy outside of my building, and I finally got brave enough to say hi. I was like, good morning, and he was like, show me your pussy. And I was like, no. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, friend. <laughs> That's how I make friends, you guys. Uh, I've been in LA almost five years. How is that possible? I know, sunshine, low rent, high quality of life. Love it. Uh, I've been doing uh, LA things. Like, uh, I was on a game show recently. Do you guys know Let's Make a Deal? Yeah. yeah, so I was like, how can I turn this to an acting opportunity? So I wrote a song for Wayne Brady. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. Yes! I was like, let's make a deal, let's make a deal, let's make a deal with Wayne Brady. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, tepid topic. Yes, I wrote it in 15 minutes. But Wayne Brady liked it, you guys. He was like, for that song, I will give you $1,000. I was just like, oh my God! yes! Because the producers told me, no matter how much money Wayne Brady gives me, it's a lot of money. <laughs> so uh, I acted accordingly. Uh, accordingly, get it? Uh, and then Wayne is like, now you can keep the thousand dollars. He's like, or, and I'm like, yeah, or. He's like, or. I'm like, yeah. He's like, or. I'm like, yeah, Wayne, tell me. I'm like, a thousand dollars is so much money. He's like, or. You can take what's behind curtain number one. And I'm like, what is it? I'm like, okay, if I trade in this thousand dollars, I mean, I could buy a house for my mom. I could get like, myself that ring I've been wanting. I could go to Mexico. I was like, give me the curtain, Wayne. And he's like, you want to bring me a $5,000 furniture set. And I was just like, yes, yes. Like, I never had furniture before, you guys. <laughs> Seriously, like, I'd just been sleeping on a little rolled up mat in a warehouse for years. It's like, someday, someday I'll get on Let's Make a Deal and Wayne Brady's gonna give me some furniture. Uh, anybody single up in here? Anyone dating? Oh, you're the best people in LA. Thank you so much for being here. It's all about it. Now, listen. I have a new boyfriend. I'm very happy, finally. But I'm nervous, you guys, because whenever I'm single, I have a horrible judgment. Like, the worst. The worst judgment you can imagine. It's not my fault going colorblind. So, like, all the red flags just look like green flags. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, where are we going? <laughs> my life is a musical. What is this, St. Patrick's Day? Um, <laughs> so, you guys, I had met this guy, and he had a lot of red flags, but I couldn't see them. Um, we were a 99% match on OkCupid. Okay it seemed like a good move. It was just like one of the red flags. It was just like... He was broke. I'm like, okay. He's like only made $12,000 last year. I was like, I don't care. Money, who cares? Then it was like, he also needed surgery, but he couldn't afford it because see green flag one. Okay? So he had to wear diapers. I was like, this is okay. Yeah, this is fine. I can give a blowjob through a diaper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that was okay. I did it. I like, couldn't get to know him, you guys, because he's like, like Dilaudid, which is basically like heroin. So I like missed a lot about him. Like I didn't know that much about him. And then there was just like, this time he ate like rotted chicken to save money. And I was like, baby, you gotta stop eating that rotted chicken. And he's like, it's so cheap. It's so cheap, I gotta eat it. I'm like, baby, stop eating that rotted chicken. He's like, I can't, it's too cheap. I'm like, baby, stop eating that rotted chicken. It was only 19 cents a pound. He kept eating it, made himself sick. So then 
you're like, what's the one percent that didn't match? Let me tell you. I found this bookshelf, you guys, and on the bookshelf I saw a picture of us from Costa Rica, a thank you card from his brother, and nine books on Hitler. I was like, <laughs> baby, my love, what is? Uh, what are all these books on Hitler? <laughs> are you studying a monster or like what's going on? And he was like, oh, I'm a fascist. I was like, what? A fascist? So I had to break up with him, obviously, you guys, because he was toxic. I'm jealous. 